Yo guys, it's Arcade. Do you think you cannot sing or cannot make vocals that will actually be good for your track? Well, you're wrong. And I'm gonna prove it to you today. So yeah, today I wanna show you how to turn even the worst of the vocals into something that actually sounds good. And I prepared something for you, a vocal so bad that you will most certainly cringe. Also, this video is brought to you by Antares, who gave me pretty much a bundle of their Autotune plugins and plugins from Avox. And we also set up a giveaway and you can actually win these plugins. More on that later. Anyways, now let's get started with this amazing vocal I have here. And I'm gonna show you some crazy effects you can use to make this vocal sound good. But first, I wanna show you how it sounds without any effects, just a dry vocal. And keep in mind, I actually did try to sing this really badly. So this, this is not my usual singing voice, just so you know. <laughs> but a fair warning, you will cringe, so I apologize in advance. Here is the vocal without any effects. Get ready. This way is the only way this world spins away. So that's the first part. I sort of tried to not sing at all. But in the second one, I sing. This way is the only way this world spins away. Okay, this must be my worst vocal from all of the videos I did on bad vocals. I even have a, like a voice crack at the end there. Spins away. <laughs> So yeah, that's the vocal. I hope you like it. And we are actually gonna turn this into something you can use in a song. I know you thought it's impossible, but it's not. First thing we wanna do is figure out the key of this vocal. We can do that with the help of Auto Key, which is a plugin from Antares, which is one of the plugins you can win. Basically, you put it on the track where your vocal is and you play the vocal. This world spins away. This way is the only way this world spins away. And it is actually G sharp minor. So even though this vocal is really bad, it still figured out the right key. So yeah, this saves a lot of time. Anytime you sing something and you don't even know which key you are singing in, you can just check with auto key. You can also use this on the chords if you don't know the key of the chord progression. So it goes both ways. So now that we know it's G-sharp minor, we can delete this plugin. And the first plugin I want to put in is the autotune. So the good old autotune, uh, we're going to change the retune speed to zero. So it's immediate and change the key to G-sharp and minor. That's really important. Make sure to never skip this step. Make sure to change the key into the one you are actually singing in. Right now, it's going to make a little bit of a difference, but not much since I didn't really sing. But here's how it sounds. This world spins away. This way is the only way. This world spins away. So yeah, it's a little bit better than it was. But now for the magic plugin that I'm going to use that makes all of the difference. And it's called Harmony Engine. And it's this. This is where the magic happens. But before we continue, I want to mention the giveaway you can actually enter right now. There is 16 people who can actually win, so the chances are pretty good. The first place will win 3 years of Autotune Unlimited subscription. Second place will win 2 years and the third place will win 1 year. And what you get with that is all of these plugins that I'm using today, all of the Autotune plugins and even Avox plugins, so all of the plugins you need to make amazing vocals. So to enter, all you have to do is click the link in the description, enter your name and email, and you are in. So make sure to enter and hopefully you will be one of the lucky winners. So check out the link below and now let's get back to the video. So here is Harmony Engine, my favorite vocal plugin so far, and one of the plugins you can win. And we're gonna set it up to transform this vocal into something completely different. So the first thing we wanna do is change the Harmony Control and we're gonna choose MIDI Omni here. This means we can control the plugin with MIDI notes. Next, we want to go here to settings and wrapper settings right here and change the input port to zero. And one last thing, we want to add MIDI out, which is the one that's going to control this plugin. So add MIDI out and make sure the port is set to zero as well. Basically, these two numbers have to be the same. So now that we have that, the plugin is set up and we can take the chords we have for our song. We can take them and put them on the MIDI out. So just copy them right here. And basically these are the notes that will control the vocal. The vocal will create harmonies based on the keys that are pressed in piano roll. So this is sort of the melody the vocal will be playing. We can do any melody we want, but the chords work pretty well here. So now just put it in the playlist along with the vocal 
and we can test it out. This way is the only way this world spins away. This way is the only way this world spins away. So yeah, that is how it sounds right now. Already much better. Already a cool effect that you can actually use in a song. But since I sang this really poorly, we can actually mute the original vocal, which is the input. So pretty much only gonna have the harmonies played by the MIDI. Also, another thing we can do is add EQ, make the high frequencies higher and lower the low frequencies. Maybe some reverb as well. And maybe sound good is there to just sort of compress the vocal. And then we can play it with the chords that I prepared, just this. And let's see how it sounds right now. This way is the only way this world spins away. This way is the only way this world spins away. So yeah, much better, actually unusable vocal. And remember, I tried my best to sing this as badly as possible. We started with this. This way is the only way this world spins away. And now we have this. This way is the only way this world spins away. And really deep lyrics, of course. Uh, anyways, as you can see, everybody can make good vocals. Like you can literally take just people talking and make vocals from it. But now I want to show you a more exciting example where I actually attempt to sing well and use more advanced effects and have a whole track ready for the vocal as well. So let's get to that. But yeah, I wanted to show you the technique on a really basic level first. But now let's go to the second example. Here is my second example and a whole song around it. Once again, I'm gonna show you the vocals with no effects on them. And then I'm gonna show you all the effects that I put on them to make them sound good. And, and also, as far as the instrumental goes, it's sort of a remake from Fox Stevenson, Lava. Let me show you the vocals I recorded. Once again, I'm not a great singer. I cannot really sing well, but I tried my best on this example, unlike the other one. So first I wanna show you the dry vocals. So here are the dry vocals that I recorded. I think I'm standing on water, control like never before. I know I cannot be stopped now. I'm like a superhero. Okay, so this... <laughs> this. Okay, so this is the first part of the vocal. And I think it's pretty decent. I mean, I've gotten better over the years of trying to make these bad vocal videos. But in the second one, I tried to sing like a bit higher. And that's where my voice is lacking. So yeah, here's the second part. Yeah, 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 the way that the time is now. Yeah, 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 I can take you off your hands. Okay, so that's the second part of the vocal. And I think it's not that bad. I mean, I've done worse. Still, these vocals are not anything to be proud of, but I'm gonna show you the effects I put on them and how I actually turn them into something really good, I think. So as you can see, we got multiple vocals here two here and three here. So let's go over the effects. First, we have fruity limiter and I just choose the noise gate preset. So any quiet parts will be muted. Then we have autotune. And once again, I use the auto key to figure out the key. And then I set it to that. Retune speed at zero. This is what happens when we have autotune on. I think I'm standing on water. And I also use this formant and did this throat thing, which uh, you can sort of change the color or tone of your voice. So I did very little here, just like so. So that's autotune. As I mentioned before, you can win all of these plugins, link below in case you missed it. Uh, then we have Maximus, which I sort of use as a compressor, but also I use this punch from Avox, which has a similar effect. I think I'm standing on water. Which basically takes the more quiet parts from the vocal and makes them louder and the loud parts stay the same. So that's what this does. Then I use Cybel, which uh, removes the S sound or lowers the S frequencies. The next plugin I used is EQ and I boosted the high frequencies. And then I have some reverb on it as well, set up like this, just a bit. I think I'm standing on water. So that is it for this vocal. And we have the same effects on this one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
wait up the time is now. But then we have the interesting part with the harmony engine once again to make this really cool effect. So let's take a look at that. I think I'm staying on water. So as I showed you in the example at the beginning, I use the same effects through the limiter for noise gate, then auto tune and then harmony engine. And I changed a few settings here. Once again, we have the MIDI Omni and we control it with MIDI, but I also enable the input and coir. So we have sort of this more open sound on this one. Then we have EQ and I boost the high frequencies a lot here. And then I also have this worm effect, which uh, sort of adds saturation. And then we have reverb. I think I'm standing on water. So together with the other vocal, it sounds like this. I think I'm standing on water. Control like never before. So it almost sounds like multiple people are singing. Really nice. I love this effect. So these two, this is the same effects as the first one. And this is the same effects as the second one. But then we have the third one and we have some extra effects on these to create yet another layer. This last one actually add autotune on it. And as I mentioned before, the format throat function, I lower it quite a bit. I make my voice way deeper with this. So here's how it sounds. And I also use this choir effect, which I love. It makes it sound like multiple people and multiple recordings were recorded. So I do eight voices here. So without it, it's like this. And with it, it's like a nice backing vocal. Then I also have stereo shaper. But then we have reverb and that's pretty much it. And together they sound like this. And this is the harmony engine by itself, if you want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time is now. And that is it for all the effects on these vocals. So from a rather bland original recording into some really exciting vocals. So here is what we had before. I think I'm standing on water. And here is what we have now. I think I'm standing on water. Now let's play the vocals with the entire track. So I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'm standing on water. Control like never before. I know I cannot be stopped now. I'm like a superhero. And hey guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure to enter this giveaway. As I said, 16 people in total will win the prizes. So your chances are pretty good. And then you can also make these amazing vocals. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.